morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing? Good. Doing okay? Loretta, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Good? Are we ready for spring break next week? Yes. yes. <laughs> Sean, what are you going to do? Relax. Yeah? The entire week? Absolutely nothing. How about you, Michelle? Disney World. Disney World. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Driving down as soon as this class is done, huh? Yeah. Yeah? All right, well, before we start today, we're going to go through a few reminders. First of all, do not forget Mr. J's field trip next Friday. No, actually, two weeks, since next week is spring break. Mr. J, he's uh, taking you all to the aquarium. Don't forget that. And uh, if you need your um, parent consent form signed, don't forget to bring that after spring break is done so you guys can go to the aquarium. Don't forget that we have an exam in two weeks, chapter four to six. Any questions on that right now? No? Yes? Yeah. I wish, but I really can't. I'm sorry, Michelle. I can give you some hints to what it could be. Yeah, you try. They might get some hints later in the class to see what could be on it. That might help you. And then don't forget that there's a tech club meeting tomorrow. Susan, you're in charge of that, I think? Yes, I am. Yeah? <laughs> you guys meeting in the same spot as always? As always. Yeah. Michelle, are you going? No. No, no. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Shanine, <laughs> are you going? Um, maybe. Yeah? <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so this is what we're going to do today. We're going to work on business ownership. We're going to do an intro activity uh, in, as individuals and then also as uh, the entire class. And then I'm going to go through some uh, instruction about uh, business ownership and what it really is. <coughs> then we're going to move on and actually do a computer lab activity. We might not get to this activity today, so if we don't, we'll, we'll do it next class, okay? And then we're going to go through homework, favorite spot of the for day, you know, go through homework, and then class is dismissed. Any questions? No? Pretty easy? Okay. Well, before we start, everyone has a pen or a pencil? Okay, you can hand these out. Of course, will you help me send that back? So I'm going to get Michelle, you too. And these, uh, we're going to work on individually. I don't want you guys just to use your own experience. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to write down what you think are two advantages <coughs> and two disadvantages to the following three statements. If you're doing a school project, whatever project that could possibly be, what are two advantages and two disadvantages of doing it yourself, in pairs, and as a group? Okay, can you see back there, Susan? Yeah, I totally hate working with others. <laughs> but I probably can't do that once. I mean, you could. That's why I like sitting in the back up on myself and zoom in. That's okay. We can work on that. I'm like a technology geek. <laughs> Hence the tech club.
Are we almost done? How about you, Tony? Almost. You're almost done? Getting there? Portia? I don't know. No feelings about working by yourself or a group or anything? I think there's something. What if we can only figure out one disadvantage? It's okay. It's better than nothing. We'll work on it. We're going to look at this as a class as well. Just so that everyone can get in the mode and see what some of the advantages and disadvantages are. Shanil, you want to come up and help me? Yeah. You like writing on the whiteboard? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I have my paper as well? You can. Okay. So let's start with uh, number one. How about doing something by yourself? What are some of the advantages? Time. Time? Uh -huh. Something else? Having complete control over the <clears throat> outcome. Absolutely. <coughs> anything else outside of those two? Anyone else have anything? What are some of the disadvantages? <coughs> You've got to be in charge all by yourself, right? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, sir? No accountability. Yes, absolutely. How about number two? What's the advantages of working in pairs? Less yes. workload. <laughs> yes. 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 More ideas. Good More good ideas. Good 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 you can rely on others. You can rely on others. Yep. Yeah. Tony? Ideas. Uh, more ideas are flowing. Mm -hmm. Good. Good fighting on the board up here, Chanel. Natural. <laughs> How about some of the disadvantages? What do we got? Staying on task. Mm -hmm. Personality conflicts. Yeah. Okay. Disagreements. Mm -hmm. Does that happen a lot? Someone mm -hmm. always drops the ball. There's always a time. <laughs> <laughs> so you rely on someone else, right? How about in a group of three or more? What happens then? Spread work. Definitely out. slacker. Get more done. Let's go. Spread work. Distribute the work. Mm -hmm. Someone almost got to take charge and delegate, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't catch that. <laughs> uh, more ideals and um, spread the work out. Mm -hmm. spread, the, mm -hmm. spread the work out. More ideas. And some of the disadvantages there? Three is a crowd. Mm -hmm. Someone up in the door? You know, I think he was at the wrong class. <laughs> If we had to put about a pass, it would have let them in, right? That was one of mine. Slackers? Yeah. I mm -hmm. said that. She did before she did that. I apologize. It was on my business. <laughs> Anything else there we want to add? Or is this good? Uh, too many personalities may clash. Okay. Why are we doing this? Talking about something like this and then talking about business ownership. <coughs> well, just like anything we do in life, there are advantages and disadvantages to everything that we do, as well as it is in business. Okay? So, how and why is a lesson like business ownership important? Anyone have any clue there? Anyone want to? What do you think we're talking about business ownership today? Michelle, you have a suggestion? Loretta? Yeah, uh, sir. In business ownership, then you can look at whether you are good at being a private, a sole proprietor, mm -hmm. or a partner, or, okay. a, or a corporate. Just like that. And just with those three different things, which we're going to get to, sole pro proprietorship, a partnership, and a corporation, each of those three kinds of business ownership have advantages and disadvantages. And it's important for all of you, even if you never own a business, to know what those are and know what challenges and tasks that each of those kinds of businesses do. And that's important. And if you're ever going to own a business, it's really important to know what your options are and why you would choose one ownership over the other. Does that make sense? Yes. Perfect. 
Okay, so sole proprietorship, and before we start, let's let's hand this out. Actually, let's hand these. Portia, will you help me? While we uh, go through this, let's uh, everyone take some notes. And uh, look, Portia, you asked about the exam. Hint, hint. If we take notes on this, this could help you. See if you want to write some notes down while we talk about it. So a sole proprietorship is owned and managed by one person. So only one person is working and owning the company, okay? So some examples of that. A jewelry store, a small business, uh, maybe uh, someone owning their own business as a handyman, something like that, doing all their business and doing all their work themselves. Um, some of the advantages is that it's the easiest form of business to start and end. There's a few legal requirements. Yes, Mrs. Susan? If I babysit, does that mean I have a business? No, it does not, because a business still has to be legally formed through the state, some paperwork, you have to do a name, and things like that. So you're just working as a personal one, taking some cash to, to name. So not a business. My brother does handyman stuff, so I just didn't know. You, I guess you could start a, a nanny business hmm. and actually do it and actually market yourself as, as a nanny. Then you would be a business. But again, it's the easiest form of business to start and also end. Few legal requirements involved, and the sole owner keeps profit for him or herself. So this advantage is just like you mentioned, you're in charge of all your tasks and everything that you do by yourself. You're personally responsible for all debts. Debts, I believe we talked, Rob, Ms. Robertson talked about that last week, I think. Um, and if the business fails, you're personally liable to do all that. Any questions on that? Michelle? Do you have to have a lot of money to start a business? You potentially need to have some startup money because um, if you have a sole business that you need some licenses or you need products to start up, before you have any money to actually come in, you might have to put some money out there to buy those things. Or you can ask for an investor to put some money in and things like that. So a lot of money, what do you mean with a lot of money? Like, um, hundreds or a thousand, a thousand, like, I have... I hate to say that it depends, but it depends on the business you're trying to start. Okay. Does that make sense? Because I've been saving my money for a while. I got like $400. <laughs> Would you like to start a business and with that? I was that? really <laughs> trying about it. Yeah. What's your business going to be in if you want to start a business with $400? I want to sell lotion. Okay. Do you have that lotion already, or do you need to buy that to resell it? I'm going to buy it and resell it. Okay. So then we got to look at what does each lotion cost, right? Mm -hmm. To buy it. Right. And then sell it. Yeah. Does that help? Oh. Yes. Ms. Shanil. Yeah, but don't, doesn't she have to think about if she's buying, say, like Johnson and Johnson lotion, mm -hmm. and she's trying to resell it, isn't that illegal? Yes, that is illegal. Okay. She's just got to think about something oh, yeah. that hurts our own lotion, though, right? Okay. Oh, no, it's not my own lotion. <laughs> <laughs> you could buy a Dollar Tree. <laughs> wouldn't, that would not be it, so they would never find out. <laughs> but isn't that what they do online? What do you mean online? Like people have like, like e-commerce online, and they're trying to buy, like the tools of us have big sales and stuff, they go and buy stuff, and then they come back and sell it under their own business. Like as a Toys R Us or buy, do that no, or someone else's? No, as an else's. individual. Like if you found iPads on sale really low and you buy a lot. You can resell them, them, absolutely. You don't have that against them. Buy okay. eBay. Mm -hmm. If you bought it yourself, but that's a, a not a brand new item, correct? Well, it could be still in the box. If it's in the box. Like still, so, you buy tickets. And you buy, mm -hmm. you don't buy them. Yeah, that's right. But some of it's actually a business, so but they're allowed to do it. Yeah, but individuals put up tickets they bought. So. That's technically fraud, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that scouting? Yes. Mm -hmm. It is. Not legal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not illegal. <laughs> Are we ready to move on? More questions? Yeah, I might talk about this. Maybe? We're not? <laughs> okay, so a partnership. Owned and managed by a small group, often two to three people, and they actually have to do a written document with the state and share their responsibilities on how they're dividing their income as well as their debt. 
some of the examples. Anyone have an idea about partnerships? Ben and Jared. Oh. <laughs> could be, could be. There were two that started it. It's John, bigger now. Johnson and Johnson. It could be the same thing. <laughs> that's a good one, too. Jim and Nick's. Yeah, that's right. It's actually a smaller business with only two people that owns it. You guys are thinking about labels and names that actually involve two names. But in this case, a partnership can still be, it could be a law firm. A law firm could be a partnership. Often, again, a smaller business that does not need to have stocks or anything like that to sell as a larger corporation. Again, some of the advantages, it's very easy to start, and a partner equals more money to invest in more knowledge and expertise. So Michelle, if you find someone with more expertise and more knowledge, you guys can put more money into the lotion huh? business. Ask Chanel, she might have something in mind. Yeah, I have a thousand dollars. <laughs> See, there you go. So what's this advantage is that it's unlimited liability for the debts. Each partner is liable for debt for the business. What does unlimited liability mean? Tony? There's no limit. Everybody is still in here. Loretta? I think it means that um, if the company goes under, mm -hmm. then you're going to be liable for all of the debt that that's the company exactly right. has incurred. There's no limit to that liability. That's exactly right. Everyone is involved in these, in this case, two or three people are personally liable for everything that goes in and the debt stuff goes out of it. And the last, last type of ownership that's one of the larger ones is, again, Susan, oh, Tech no. Club. Is the technology not working? Mm -hmm. It's the corporation, and it's owned by a large group. It could be thousands and thousands, even millions of people, actually. They operate under written permission from the state. And the latest stats shows us that corporations conduct over 70% of all business in our economy. There's also a smaller example called something called an LLC, which is a limited liability company, which is something we're going to look into a little bit more um, further into this class also in the next couple of weeks. Uh, some of the advantages is that you can raise money by selling stock. What's stock? Like what Facebook gave? That's exactly right. Almost. Yep. Like so that people can own Facebook, not just the guy Zucker? That's right. But doesn't he own like most of these? He does. He does. He makes sure that he will own always more than 50% of the stock so that he has majority vote to do all the decisions. Absolutely. So the benefit is that you can sell stock and you also give out dividends to everyone who owns stock. So they can actually get money by if the, if the business is doing good. But what you also do is that you can run into the, the problem that someone can actually buy you out if you have that much stock. Absolutely. Some of the dis disadvantages is, is that you have double taxation. And what this means is that a corporation is actually taxed on all their income, and all the dividends that gives out to all the people who own stock, they actually get taxed on their dividends as well. So that's one of the, the major disadvantages for a corporation. Why do they do that? Why? Is, yeah. Does the government tax you? No, why do they do that double taxation? That seems unfair. Yeah, I, I guess, I mean, it's a way, first of all, for the state to, to make sure that everyone is taxed on their income. If, if the business in itself would not be taxed and all the income, then technically they would, you know, make more money than they're supposed to. But since people who then own stock are not, would not be taxed on their dividend, means that they have income that comes straight, you know, straight into their pocket. So I guess it's just a double, so, so many people are making income that they just have to tax both of them. <clears throat> Any questions on that? What are some of the major corporations that you guys see all the time? Coca-Cola. Yep. McDonald's. Yep. Nike. Yep, and you can buy stocks in them too. Okay, so we're actually, the plan was to move into the computer lab, but it's actually occupied. <laughs> Next door. I think Mr. J has it for the aquarium trip. <laughs> but in pairs, we're actually going to go online and do some research. So if you want to pair up, oh. 
Ms. Uda, I think that we have like a pep rally in about two minutes. Oh, we do? Pep rally in two minutes? Well, I guess um, take this and we're going to do the activity next time we meet. Make sure everyone reads the instructions. And then we're actually going to move on then. And we're going to go through what the homework is. We'll start the next class by completing it. So the homework is going to be, I want you guys to do some research and find out and give me three examples of local businesses around the school or around where you live that operate as a limited liability company. A limited li liability company is a corporation, but the good part with an LLC is that actually, instead of having full li liability or no liability, they're actually in between. So they're kind of protected on both ends. So they're not a small business where they have unlimited liability, but they actually get help by being a corporation. Okay. So there's a lot of businesses out there that are LLCs. And this is something I would like you to research. Um, some of this you would have learned if we would have time to do the worksheet. You would know what an LLC is. But if you can do some research at home and see, give me three examples of, like I said, local businesses. And that would be it. Any questions on that? No? What are examples of LLCs? Well, actually, let me think about something. Uh, a lot of uh, law firms are LLCs. Uh, and the reason, main reason why law firms are LLCs is because a law firm can potentially run into a lot of debt if they have to pay a lot of money out. Well, they can protect themselves by being a corporation and not have unlimited liability. So that's one of the big advantages. So a lot of law firms are actually going into LLCs. So this is a very common and one of the most, um, like a favorite form of ownership that's only been around for not very many years, actually. So an LLC is very good in multiple ways. You don't get double taxation like a corporation, but you do, um, you do have, you know, in between when it comes to liability. So if that's it, class is dismissed, and we'll see you on Friday.